Welcome back. New at six, an unbearable thought. A child stuck in an abusive home with nowhere to go. One group is working in our community to give these children an escape. Safe place is the first line of defense in a lot of ways for young people. Two works you anchor Corey Duke shows us how Tulsa's safe place program is giving children and teens in our community a way to survive. You may have seen signs like this around town at your local quick trip or at a fire station. However, what you may not know is that these stand for signs of courage and they're the child's first step at getting help. It takes bravery. Reaching out for help for an adult is difficult. Reaching out as a child, I'm sure that's quite frightening. A child trapped in a living nightmare takes a stance to make it stop. For a lot of these young people, it's the first time that they get to have any power and control and their own safety. Because for children in crisis, enough should always be enough. This is not a YST issue. This is a Tulsa issue. And Youth Services of Tulsa is making sure every child knows they can escape their nightmares. We have safe places at fire stations, at IMSA, if any young person sees IMSA around the community, uh, also within any of the libraries during their operating hours. Along with Tulsa Transit, fire stations, and quick trips. Employees guarding these signs at over 200 locations are professionally trained to calm a child in need. Those individuals are there and they are looking for children that might fit into the description of like, maybe they need help. That average store clerk, bus driver, or librarian actually isn't so average. They're a bridge, closing the gap to protecting the children of Tulsa and their hearts full of active compassion. People who are active members of our community that have seen the need for young people who are experiencing crisis. But the crisis unfortunately will continue, forcing these signs to pop up around town because the youth will always need our help so they can shape our future. Youth Services of Tulsa is always looking for volunteers and donations. In fact, there is a benefit being held tomorrow. It is called Taste of Brookside. Tickets go fast, but you can find information on our website at kgrh.com. In Midtown, Corey Duke, Two Works For You.